been migrating from a 2008 domain controller to a 2019 domain controller. As you can see, this is a 2008 Windows Server. It's not a 2008 R2. And if you look in AD Domains and Trust, you can see my forest functional level is at server 2008. And I can't raise it any further. So over on my new server, which is already joined to the domain, this is a 2019 server, just to prove that. There you go. And we are going to add on the domain rule. Next, next, next. And select Active Directory Domain Services. Click to add the additional features and click Next. And Next, Next, and Install. And for the sake of the video, I've, I've sped this up a little. Installation has succeeded. Now that's simply the rule added. Uh, it needs to be configured. So if you click the little warning triangle and click promote this server and after a few seconds it will let you add the domain controller to an existing domain which will be the default. And you will need to set a DSRM or Dis Directory Service Restore Mode password. And click Next. Don't worry about that delegation for DNS warning. You'll see that pretty much every time that you create a domain controller. And notice it's saying it's going to extend the schema uh, and it's also going to prepare the domain for you. Next. Now you'll see a few warnings come up. You usually do. But we are OK to proceed. So although the Microsoft official documentation says that your source domain must be at 2008 R2, we are not. We, and in fact, it even says in here we're at server 2008 functional level. It says it's depreciated, but it will still let us add this in. Prerequisite check of all completed. Click install. And again, for the sake of the video, as soon as it's done, it will log you out and it will reboot the server. Notice we're logging in as our domain administrator now. So now if I open administrative tools and go to domains and trusts we will still be at server 2008 and we can't raise it because the old domain controller still exists within domain and it's running server 2008 so we can't make any change to this until we've removed the old domain controller which we'll do in a minute that's both for the forest and the domain functional levels so just to make sure it's not smoke and mirrors if I open users and computers and then go to the domain controllers or you you'll see there's the old one and there's the new one so before we can get rid of the old one we need to move all the FSMO rules from the old server to the new one now obviously in production you'd have many to make controllers and you would put a bit more thought into where you were placing these. I have done an article already on how to move your FISMO rules via PowerShell but essentially that's the syntax that you need. And then A to answer yes to all. 
And if I just recall the last commands and this time do a net DOM query FSMR, the rules should now be on this new server, and they are. So let's jump back onto our old server again. Uh, we're, we're now going to remove the AD rule from it by running DC promo. Next. Yeah, it's a global catalog server, but so it's the new one. Yep, next. Now I'm going to need to untick that one because I don't have administrative access to the .com domain, so next. Put in the new administrator account password and let it run through. When it's complete, just simply click finish and it will ask you to reboot the server. So let's dive across from here back onto our new domain controller. And you will see now if I go to Active Directory Domains and Trusts, I have the option to change the domain functional level. I can go 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2 or 2016. And I can also do the same for the forest functional level because now I've removed the 2008 domain control. And finally Go back into domain controllers and you'll see our 2008 server has disappeared. That's us done and migrated. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.pignetlive.com.